Hey, this is Steve Harris at Museums.com. We've released a new widget called the MP3 Audio Player. And what this allows you to do, as the name implies, of course, is embed an audio file into your website in this kind of small and customizable player. So of course it has play controls, and we can style all of these colors and fonts and everything. And we have volume controls as well. So it's quite a nice little widget, and it's really simple to set up. So let's jump into Muse, and I'll just go ahead and delete this out. And I'll show you how to do it from scratch. So if we go into our library file, scroll down to number 25, the MP3 audio player, drag it out onto the page, and we get a nice preview of this one in Muse. So as you can see, it kind of looks just like we had it when we first set up the, or when I preview the widget in the browser. So the options panel here has various controls for styling. And the first part is the playback setup. So it says audio file, and this is where we need to include the name of the audio file we're using. So if you're going to upload your own MP3 rather than linking to somewhere else on the web, the way to do it is go file and add files for upload, and then click your audio file. So I have one here, it's just called audio.mp3 and click open. And what that does is it adds it to your assets panel here in Muse. So now it says audio.mp3 is going to upload when you upload your site. So then the next thing that we need to do in the flyout panel is we need to actually enter that in here. So if you're uploading it this way, you need to have assets and slash in front of the name. So you go assets slash your file name dot mp3. Once you do that, that's really all the setup you need. So you should be able to publish this up and actually listen to your audio file as is. One thing to note with this widget, I do recommend actually publishing it to the web rather than previewing it in the browser. We did have some uh, glitches in certain browsers with previewing it before it was published. So definitely upload it to a temporary site to preview. So now that we have the audio file linked in, we can change the starting volume. So if I up this to say one, that's basically 100% volume. And watch what happens to the volume uh, bar there. It actually jumps to 100%. So this just lets you set the volume level for your users ahead of time. So point two would be 20%. Now we can set the audio to loop, which many users ask for in video widgets especially. And we have hide time indicators. So if we click that, you'll see that it removes the play time and the time remaining from the player altogether. Next thing we have styling, turn that back on. So we have player styling. So this is player color, which is basically the background color. So if we set this to orange, and you can see how it changes. Doesn't look very good with the blue, but we'll change that. So now we have playback bar color. So if we change this to black, it's just going to change this bar where you see your kind of play indicator or playhead. Next we have the volume bar color, which is this one. So let's change that to white. Okay, so that's changed to white. And now we have the text color. So we could change the text to any different color we want. So that's it for standard options. And then the next option we have is the advanced code editor. And what this allows you to do, if you're comfortable and familiar with CSS styles, you can actually embed your own styles and kind of override this widget. This would be for advanced users only. I wouldn't recommend that you dive too deep into this if you're not familiar with code. So that's it, we've styled our widget and we're ready to go. So let's just publish this up. I have a temporary site already set up and let's publish it up and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, our player is styled and if we click play, you can hear that the audio is indeed coming out. And of course we could turn up the volume here. So that's the new MP3 audio player from MuseThemes.com. This will be in your toolbox file, so update it today and let us know if you have any trouble or any questions. Thanks again and enjoy.